since we do not believe in a theistic God, that is some anthropomorphic God that has human nature, that is somehow holding on to all the information that all the human beings, sentient beings have and intercedes in history. So if that is not part of our theological construct, what, what do we pray or do we pray at all? Quite frankly, I'm a big believer in prayer and different kinds of prayer. I won't say all progressive Christians feel the same way, but certainly I do. Most of the people that I've dealt with do. But our prayers are different. Our, our, our prayers are prayers of awe. That is, prayer gratitude for life, for wonderment, for amazing things. Uh, a prayer that allows us to be a channel of something that may be energy. You see, all things are energy. Everything is a form of energy, and prayer is just another form of energy. One could argue, for example, that anytime we pray with goodness in our heart, we are adding to the universe. We are doing something positive. But I want to share with you that over the years when I have been asked to come in with, to see someone in the hospital that may be very, very ill or even dying, and I've been asked by the family to pray, I usually let them know I'm not going to pray for God to fix this person but I do try to become a conduit of what I consider this positive energy that flows throughout the universe. So on numerous occasions, I have actually laid my hand on someone and tried to let that energy literally flow through me. I've had some pretty interesting comments from people later. I'm not positive that I am doing anything I'm not even positive that that energy in fact goes through me, but I do know that something changes in me and often something changes in the person that I've touched. Even touching in itself is a form of prayer when you do this. We all crave that touching. Little babies who are not touched, we know something happens to them. They shrivel up, they, they are not healthy. Meditation is a form of prayer for some people. I think it's an important one. For example, I start my day every day with 15 to 20 minutes of meditation, an opportunity to allow my mind to settle and for me to open my mind to that that is larger than anything that I can possibly understand. So yes, prayer has a place in the progressive movement. Prayer has a place in my life. Prayer has a place in many people who call themselves progressive Christians.